Hi, and welcome to today's video on ProPresenter Scoreboard. My name is Andy, I'm a technical support engineer here at Formeco, and today we're going to go over player foul points. Player foul points is a way to keep track of stats and basketball by putting up the player's number, how many points they've gotten, and how many fouls they've gotten, all while keeping track of what players are on court. I like to build player foul points out as an overlay. This allows me to be able to turn player foul points on and off as I want, so that way I can make best use of my limited space on my video board. You can absolutely build this as part of your scoreboard here in the scoreboard editor, but today we're going to go over how to do it in an overlay. To create player foul points, I'm going to make sure that my overlay window is up. If it is not, I'm going to simply click on the overlay button at the top. If it comes up here in front of the user interface, I like to pop that out as its own window and then drag it over and resize it under here, underneath the output. To create a new overlay, I'm going to go down to the pencil icon and then create a new overlay. This is my current example where I have built it covering the ads, but you can build it to cover anywhere on your video board, however you want. We're going to create a new one by simply hitting the plus button. And now we have a blank overlay. To start, I'm going to make this overlay cover the video zone as opposed to my ads. To know what size my zone is or the size of the area I want to cover, I can simply go to this pencil icon and zones to find out the exact size and placement. So here in overlay 2, the new overlay we created, I'm going to add a background. Here I'm going to select this metal background that I've been using for my scoreboard look to make it look the same. I'm going to then put this exactly where I want it. If I want to drag, I can do that. I find it's easier and more accurate by just typing in numbers. So now I've got an image that is 516 wide by 290 high. I can then double click on that image, resize it, and drag it wherever I want. This is about how I want it. Now I'm going to add in my team logos. This is going to add an image to slide, go to documents, logos, and add in the generic Eagle logo. I can then reduce the opacity on that logo. I like somewhere about 50%. I'm going to add in our Fermetco Shield logo, resize, and do the same thing. So now that I've got our logos sized how I want them, I'm going to add in some team names. I've got this team name typed up just home for right now. I'm going to center it up, create my text box the size I want, and center it where I want. Choose my font size, if I want an outline, I can do that. Now I'm going to copy and paste and bring that same sized text box over and use the visitor's name. Now that I've got that, 
I'm going to start adding in text boxes for numbers, fouls, and points. I'm going to make it 50 by 50 for my use case and put in the number logo. I can then again center it, choose the font I'm going to use, size, add an outline, and drag it where I want. Now, to keep things aligned properly and set it sized the same, I like to copy and paste. So now I've got three text boxes. The center one I'm going to do P for points and F for fouls on the right. I can then select all three, copy and paste, and move over for the visitor. Now I'm just going to start copy and pasting Now I've got text boxes for number, points, and fouls for each of my five players that are on court at a time. Now I need to add a data link to each of these text boxes. So I'm going to select the text box I want, go to data link. In this case, it's the home player, player on court player number one and their number. I'm going to go here, do the same thing, home, player on court, number one, points, home, player on court, number one, fouls. I'll continue to do that for home and visitor, all players that are on court. I'll also put home name and visitor name to these text boxes. That will mean that each of these text boxes will automatically adjust to show the team name, the player's number, how many points, and how many fouls when that data comes in from the score console. To figure out how your score console works to output player foul points, you'll need to look at the manufacturer's user manual. Once you've completed that, you can rename the overlay. And now you have that new overlay over here. Once I close out of it and reopen, and you'll see the image you have added in. Once I select it, you will see the numbers, the points, and fouls. They will show up as numbers, points, and fouls once I've created all of the data links to each one. And that's it. It's that simple to operate player foul points in your scoreboard. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us, and have a great day.